technology gone askew. <laughs> but I, was, I told you earlier about the Al Ruddy story, and how we described what the producer does. When we were filming that scene, I finally had my own Al Ruddy experience. I was walking a reporter around the set of Titanic while we were filming. We filmed outside and captured this incredible sunset that we were lucky enough to get. But we couldn't finish the whole scene, so we recreated the sunset inside on the stage, and we were shooting it again to fill in the holes that we didn't have. And I went to, to, to the, with the reporter and onto the set, and I saw Jim filming. And he was doing it differently than he had done outside. And I excused myself from the reporter, and I went up to Jim, and I said, hey, Jim, Remember when you were outside, you racked focus at a different time, and now, I think that might have been better. Well, like Francis, Jim lost it. I think the quote was, you stick to producing, and I'll stick to directing, and told me to leave the set. I wasn't escorted, I just left. Well, the next day, when I went to Daly's to see what we had filmed the day, the day before, from that take on, Jim switched it the way I suggested, and that's what ended up in the movie. So I, I finally had my own album. Winston, uh, who worked in our industry, was, was one of the great creative people. Um, he uh, created prosthetics, he created characters, he, all these things. And I, I mentioned him because in this last clip I'm going to show you, he opens it up. And we, we lost Stan, Stan a couple years ago, and he was a, a great loss to us personally, uh, but, but also to the, an industry that, that we'll never forget. So please run this last clip. Every time there is new technology, there is a paranoid faction of less than brilliant artists who feel that that's the end of their career, who don't understand that art never dies, that technology will go on and serve art, but art never dies. It doesn't, the tool isn't as important as, as the result. And as a filmmaker, I'd love to have the tools be, be cheaper and more democratized. And I think that just actually swings the art back to the game. That, that, that special effects used to be the event, but now because they're so common, they're so easy to do with the digital technology, they're no longer the event. The event now becomes the story that they're telling. And ultimately, I think that, that as long as people always make story and character the most important thing, all these other new arrows in the quiver secondary to that, then they're gonna make a film. I think that the issue is don't stop questioning, don't stop trying to figure out ways to, to push the ball further downfield. Every show that you do, you're presented with some sort of new problem that, that needs to be solved. And you know, once that problem is solved, it's available to all the other shows that follow. I don't know come from the stuff. people with really sharp ideas. Then meeting all the other folks, or showing the other folks sort of the way to do it. And everybody, you know, it changes. This person comes up with a great idea, and this one was here, and this one was there. And I'm just glad that, you know, the films like Terminator 2 kind of inspired me to, to get it going when I did, because it's really ultimately led to, to a, 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 a growth of knowledge and experience that enabled us to do all the things. I mean, we could have never have even made that film if we hadn't been where we were at that time in, in, in regards to our um, CG experience. People caught on to it and started doing some really pretty remarkable work. And, and we never look back. I mean, let's face it, as, as an industry, when you see something better, you go on to it. You don't have to go out and sell it. People will find it. So I say that same thing to you. Find that thing. Let people come on to it. They will, they will find it themselves. Uh, when I finish up, I'm going to open it up for some Q&A, but I want, I want to share with you a, a story from Dick Tracy. When we were done filming this Dick Tracy, I was driving the car with Juan Beatty, who directed the, the film. Uh, he asked me, he said, John, do you know what your best attribute is as a producer? I thought that was a really awkward question to have to answer. Um, but he, he forced me to answer it, and I answered three wrong answers. And he finally told me what he thought my best attribute was as a producer. He said that my best attribute as a producer was that I dreamed about the movie. And he knew that because I would come in the next day with ideas, with suggestions, with ways to implement things, because I'd been dreaming about it at night. And it was, it was after Warren said that, but I realized that there has to exist a symbiotic relationship between dreams and innovation if either one is ever to become meaningful. Because it is only when innovation is applied to a dream that the dream can become a reality. 
So in what you do, I say dream. But keep in mind that it has been said that a dream without courage is a delusion, while a dream with courage is innovation. So I challenge you to bring innovation to e-learning. Bring it in in a way that it will take the field to new heights and unprecedented successes. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much.